Hello students, this is Harish DK, HOD of Electronics, ASC Independent PU College. So let's continue with feedback in amplifiers. But before that, let us recall what we learnt in the last video. So in the last video, we learnt the concept of feedback, uh, what is feedback and um, the types of feedback and some important definitions like open loop gain, closed loop gain and uh, loop gain. A open loop gain is nothing but gain of the amplifier without feedback. Closed loop gain is nothing but gain of an amplifier with feedback and loop gain is nothing but product of open loop gain and a feedback factor. That is loop gain is nothing but A beta where A is the gain of an amplifier without feedback or open loop gain and beta is the feedback fraction or factor or it is nothing but the gain of the feedback network. So in today's video we are going to learn something about uh, negative feedback in amplifiers. Now in the last uh, video uh, when we are learning the types of feedbacks in amplifier I said we use negative feedback in amplifiers but in today's video we are going to learn about this negative feedback in amplifiers why we need to use negative feedback in amplifiers etc so before that let's know what is negative feedback in amplifier see feedback is said to be negative if the signal which is sent back to the input is in phase sorry is in out of phase with the source signal by 180 degrees so this is what we discussed and this is we discussed in the last video for if you have any doubt regarding this please do uh, go through the last video okay and now the question is why do we need to use negative feedback in amplifiers? So let us know something about the advantages and disadvantage of negative feedback. Then we come to know why do we need to use negative feedback in amplifiers. See, advantages of negative feedback. See, by using negative feedback in amplifiers, we can increase the input impedance we can decrease the output impedance we can increase the bandwidth which is very essential characteristics of a good amplifier and also by using a negative feedback we can increase the gain stability and uh, by using this we can reduce noise or distortion or i can say that we can obtain undistorted noiseless output so these are all the advantages of negative feedback so for that reason we use negative feedback in amplifiers but there is a main disadvantage that is it decreases the gain of an amplifier in the last video itself i told whenever i use a word gain it's common sense it is a voltage gain only now straight away get into the types of negative feedback there are four types of negative feedback they are voltage series negative feedback voltage shunt negative feedback current series negative feedback and current shunt negative feedback so let us learn all this in detail but before that let us recall some basics of electronics that is we all know that in series combination the effective resistance of the circuit increases see when we connect the number of resistors in series the effective resistance is always greater than the greatest of the combination you should know that and in series combination the current remains same but voltage differs but voltage differs in series combination the current flowing through the components will remain same but voltage across the component differs and 
in parallel combination the effective resistance of the circuit decreases because we all know that when we connect the number of resistors in parallel the effective resistance is always lesser than the least of the combination hence whenever we want to decrease the resistance of the circuit better connect the resistors in parallel with the circuit then in parallel combination voltage remains same but current differs because we learned this in even in series and parallel combination of uh, resistors and even in capacitors in parallel combination the voltage across the resistors will remain same but current differs okay and with respect to the feedback in amplifiers or when we write some block diagrams in this chapter generally we use this notation whenever you come across this type of notation okay then you should consider it as a series combination it is nothing but a series connection sorry it is series connection whenever i ask you people to connect it in, connect this in series okay uh, connect something in series then you should use this diagram and we all know that in series combination current remains same but voltage differs now the question is for series connection why do we need to write like this to explain that i took a small circuit which is in the same format it is in the t format look at this between a and b i connected two resistors r1 and r2 okay and according to me these two resistors are in series now let me explain how now the same diagram can be rewritten like this look at this from a to x there is a wire a line in a diagram and circuit diagram can be treated as wire okay now between a and x there is a wire between a and x there is a wire between x and y between x and y there is a resistor of resistance r1 between x and y there is a resistor of resistance r1 between y and z once again there is a resistor of resistance r2 between y and z there is a resistor of resistance r2 and between z and b between z and b there is a wire between there is a wire so then i can i can claim that this diagram is same as this diagram and from this diagram it is very clear that the resistors are in series so for that reason whenever i write like this in this chapter you should treat this as a series connection similarly we can write the parallel connection like this whenever i write like this in this chapter it is considered to be parallel connection and point to be noted in parallel uh, connection voltage remains same but current differs current differs you should be aware of this now once again why it is considered why we should consider this as a parallel connection that i'm going to explain with the simple diagram look at this between these two gaps i connected two resistors namely r1 and r2 and according to me and according to electronics this circuit can be converted somewhat like this and let me explain this look at this between a and x there is a wire between a and x there is a wire one end of r1 is connected to x and another end of r1 is connected to y look at this one end of r1 is connected to x and one end of another end of r1 is connected to y similarly one end of r2 is also connected to x and another end of r2 is also connected to y look at this one end of r2 is connected to x another end of r2 is connected to y and from y to b there is a wire so now this diagram can be constructed or uh, rewritten like this so from this diagram it is very clear that r1 and r2 are in parallel so that means 
this is nothing but parallel connection so whenever i write like this you should treat this as a parallel connection especially in this chapter okay now with this basic knowledge straight away get into the first type of negative feedback first type of negative feedback that is voltage series negative feedback now the question is why they named the types of the feedback somewhat like voltage series current series voltage shunt or current shunt somewhat like this so there is a reason behind this so now the question is what is that see the reason is uh, there is a technical reason behind this let me explain that see in this title there are four words that is voltage series negative and feedback here the first word is in relation with output the first word is in relation with output so this word is totally related to output similarly this word the second word is related to input okay and a third and fourth word indicates the type of the feedback because in the last class in the last video we learned that there are two types of feedback which we can apply in amplifiers that is one is positive feedback another one is negative feedback so this third and fourth word represents the type of the feedback and one more important point you should know is see below the first word i am going to write same and the second word i am going to write different now why that you are going to learn soon now let me explain this voltage series negative feedback by drawing its block diagram first let us consider an amplifier which contains a pair of input terminals and a pair of output terminals so first now en madbeko ond amplifier anta ond dabba barbeko athwa ond dabba barado adak amplifier anta hesar idbeko and we all know that every amplifier contains a pair of input terminals and a pair of output terminals first ond input terminals ard line input athra ard line output athra baradvi then let us go back to the heading ಈ ಹೆಡ್ಡಿಂಗಿಂದ ಏನು ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕಪ್ಪ ನೀವು ಅಂದರೆ ಸಿ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳೋದೇನು ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ಟಿಂದ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಯು ಟ್ಯಾಪ್ ದಿ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಟ್ಯಾಪ್ ದಿ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಎಸ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಟ್ಯಾಪ್ ದಿ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ನೋ ದಟ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸೇಮ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಯಾವ್ದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಲಲ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಲಲ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ರೀಸನ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಇಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ರೈಟ್ vivo here because we need to tap the output voltage and uh, vivo is used to represent the output voltage and output voltage is same in which combination parallel combination so for that reason i am going to write parallel combination so that means whatever the voltage it is available here it is tapped and it is available here and this voltage is given to the feedback network this voltage is given to the feedback network and up to our knowledge feedback network the main function of feedback network is to extract the part of the output voltage so what feedback network will do it will extract the part of the output voltage and this part should be connected to the input yatara series look at this series connection you can see the series connection here right the it should be connected to series andre modalne word enante torusutte output in the voltage na tap maadi voltage yadral same irutte parallel connection al same irutte so hagagi now illi parallel connection berididivi second word yadak relate agirutte input ku relate agirutte ad yen anta torusukodutte input al input side alli our uh, series connection irbeku anta torusukodutte so so na series al connect maadidivi in series combination what is different we all know that in series combination voltage is different but the current remains same hence yen different agirutho aa terms na illi more barebeko so that is i am going to write vf vi and vs see illi vf annad enaitho part of vivo okay vi will be the input voltage and vs will be the source voltage this is the source which gives this input voltage ಓಕೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ಯಾವತ್ತೂ ತುಂಬ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ನ್ಯಾಪ್ಕ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಇದನ್ನು ಪೂರ್ತಿ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಬರೆಯೋಕ್ಕ
ವಿ ಅಥವಾ ಐ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನು ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡಬಾರದು ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಬರೆದ ಮೇಲೇ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅದು ಸೀರೀಸಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೆದ್ರೆ ಆ ಸೀರೀಸಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟು ಅದನ್ನು ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಇವಾಗ ಶಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದರೆ ಅಥವಾ ಪ್ಯಾರ್ಲಲ್ ಅಂತ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದರೆ ಅವಾಗ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀರ ಪ್ಯಾರ್ಲಲ್ಲಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟು ಕರೆಂಟು ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಂತ ಬರಿತೀವಿ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಬರಿತಿದ್ವಿ ಸೊ ಇವಾಗ ಇದಿಷ್ಟು ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಆಯಿತು ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ ವಿ ಐ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಎಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ವಿ ಎಫ್ ನಾವು ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಮೈನಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಐ ಕುಡ್ ಹವ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಗೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಗೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈರ್ ದ ಗೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿ ಒ ಬೈ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿ ಐ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ವಿ ಒ ಬೈ ವಿ ಐ ವೇರ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಓಪನ್ ಲೂಬ್ ಗೈನ್ ಅಥವಾ ಗೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈರ್ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಗೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಗೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಎಫ್ ಬೈ ವಿ ಒ ವೇರ್ ವಿ ಎಫ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಒ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಗೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಇಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕೀಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಬಿಗ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಐ ಕಾಲ್ ದಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ಆಂಪ್ಲಿಫ್ ಸೊ ನಾವ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ ಆಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈರ್ ವಿತ್ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಡ್ರಾ ದಿಸ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೈ ಡ್ರಾಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ಸಿ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಲಲ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ನೋ ದಟ್ ವೇರ್ ಎವರ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ಯಾರಲಲ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೈಟ್ ದ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಇಂಪಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆರ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಅನ್ ಆಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈರ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಇಂಪಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ನಾವು ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಇಂಪಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಮೆಷರ್ಡ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದಿ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನಲ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಇಂಪಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಅ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ದರ್ ವೇರ್ ಎವರ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಟ್ ದಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಇಂಪಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈರ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಎ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಅನ್ ಆಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈರ್ ದ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಇಂಪಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಇಂಪಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ದ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಮೆಷರ್ಡ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ ಆಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈರ್ ದ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಮೆಷರ್ಡ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ ಆಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈರ್ ಸೊ ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ಸೊ ಎರಡು ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟನ್ನು ನೀವು ತಿಳ್ಕೊಬೇಕು ಇವನೇನಪ್ಪ ಏನೋ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ 
when you are learning these concepts kindly go through the video with paper and pen and write and practice okay now let's start first now in bari beko on the dabba first now in bari beko on the dabba dabba kenan the hesar tv amplifier and we all know that amplifier contains a pair of terminals at the input and pair of terminals at the output so now the next thing is ivaga avaru yen ant heltare from output what we need to do we need to tap or we need to take the voltage so adik nan illen anta barebeko i need to write vo nan yen anta bareytini vo and vo that is voltage ya combination alli same irutte parallel connection alli same irutte so hagagi nan illen bareytini parallel connection bareytini so in parallel combination voltage remains same so illi yen vo irutte adu illi irutte this will be given as an input to the feedback network now what this feedback network will do it will extract the part so ad yenu annadanna ille baradu bidbarthu adanna yavaga adar bage mention madbekappa andre idanna wapas input ku connect martivalla connect madad mele navu barbeku so avaru adanna nam clear cut aagi torskottidar henge connect this part to the input ya reetiyalli shunt shunt in the sense parallel anta artha shunt andre artha yenu makkale parallel anta so we should connect this part which is extracted from uh, uh, or by the feedback network back to the input in parallel let us connect it and we all know that in parallel combination what is different in parallel combination current is different voltage remains same so for that reason here here and here i write the current so ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನೇನು ಬರೆದೆ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಅಂತ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಐ ಐ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಎಫ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಐ ಐ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ಎಫ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಐ ಎಫ್ ವೈ ಮೈನಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಏನೋ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಗೇನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಯಾಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈರ್ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ನಾಪ್ಕ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ಇಷ್ಟು ದಿನ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಅಂದ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ವಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಗೈನ್ಗೆ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಆದರೆ ಗೈನ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಬೈ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈಯರ್ ಸಿ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿ ಓ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಐ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ಗೈನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ವಿ ಓ ಬೈ ಐ ವಿ ಬೈ ಐ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಓಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಓಮ್ ನಾವು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಟು ದಿ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿ ಓ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಐ ಎಫ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಗೇನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೀಟಾ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಐ ಎಫ್ ಬೈ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ವಿ ಓ ಸೊ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಬೈ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಬೈ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಇಂಪಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಸಾರಿ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಎ ಪ್ಯಾರಲಲ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕ್ಲೇಮ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಇಂಪಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈರ್ decreases in other words if i apply voltage shunt negative feedback to an amplifier output impedance decreases similarly you can even observe even at the input side there is a parallel connection that means output eh, sorry input impedance also decreases input impedance also decreases so that means whenever we apply voltage shunt negative feedback to an amplifier it decreases the input impedance so that is it is not a suitable for amplifiers this type of feedback is not suitable for amplifiers now the question is why because for a good amplifier input impedance should be high and output impedance should be low so that is if i use this type of feedback output impedance anyhow it is decreasing so output impedance will be low and it is good for amplifier but 
for a good amplifier input impedance should be high but if i use this type of feedback it decreases the input impedance it is not good for amplifiers so for that reason we don't prefer this type of negative feedback in amplifiers okay now let us continue with the next type that is current shunt sorry current series negative feedback so as i told in the last slide you need to consider the same thing the first word is in relation with output second word is in relation with input the third and fourth word indicates the type of the negative feedback and below first word i am going to write same the second word i am going to write the different so by keeping this concept let us draw this type of negative feedback block diagram and we'll analyze okay first now we en madbeko ondu dabba baribeko and we should call that box as amplifier and up to our knowledge uh prati ond amplifier ge pair of input terminals irutte pair of output terminals irutte illi nim observe madbekagirad enappa andre output inda namge enanna tap madlikke helidara avaru current output inda enanna tap madlikke helidara current and we all know that current will remain same in series connection so for that reason we are written series connection here and we are going to tap the output current so illinda baro current na output current current which is flowing through output terminal is output current now this will be given as an input to the feedback network this will be given as an input to the feedback network and this will extract some part what is that part adan eagle now conclusion ikk barabardo okay it will be extract it will extract some part and that part should be connected to the input yav rithiyalli series it should be connected to the input in series and in series combination what is different voltage so for that reason illi 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 we are going to write voltage we are going to write voltage so makale point to be noted illi enappa andre illi 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 enik voltage bantu because series connection alli current same irutte illi new current anta baradre illi ee ee with feedback or without feedback ene current idre it will remain same ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನಾವೇನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಏನು ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಸೈಡಲ್ಲಿ ಬರಿತೀವಿ ಯಾಕಪ್ಪ ಅಂದರೆ ವಿ ಐ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಮುಂಚೆ ವಿ ಎಸ್ ಇತ್ತು ಆದರೆ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ವಿ ಎಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ವಿ ಎಫ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಅದೇ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಏನಿತ್ತು ಈಗಲೂ ಆಗಲೇ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಯಾಕೆಂದರೆ ಇನ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ರಿಮೈನ್ಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಐ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ವಿ ಎಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ವಿ ಎಫ್ ವೈ ಮೈನಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ now what is the gain of the amplifier it is output io by vi current by voltage is ena pa andre conductance that is mo similarly what is the gain of the feedback network that is feedback factor andre v by i that is resistance now we learned how to write the block diagram of this type but from this diagram we need to learn whether it increases the input impedance or decreases the output impedance like that we need to analyze it now look at this if i look at the output side there is a series connection so from this i can easily say that the output impedance of this type of amplifier increases that means if i apply current series negative feedback to an amplifier it increases its output impedance nodi makkale ille namdu hot aitu ಏನಕ್ಕಪ್ಪ ಅಂದರೆ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ಗುಡ್ ಆಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈರ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಇಂಪಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಲೋ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಯೂಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ದಿ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಇಂಪಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗುಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈರ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ವೈ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಇಂಪಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಲೋ ದಟ್ ಯು ಲರ್ನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಆಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈರ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಅಟ್ ದ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ವೇರ್ ಎವರ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಎದ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ಗುಡ್ ಆಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈರ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಇಂಪಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಹೈ so the uh, the series connection at the input increases its input impedance but the tragedy is the for a good amplifier output should be in, impedance should be low but this type of negative feedback when applied to an amplifier decree i mean sorry increases the output impedance hence it is also not suitable for amplifiers that is this type of feedback is not suitable for amplifiers so till now we learned three types of negative feedback that is voltage series negative feedback and uh, voltage shunt negative feedback and current series negative feedback 
out of these three voltage series negative feedback is preferable when it comes to amplifiers right so now let's proceed with the last then we'll come to conclusion so next one is current shunt negative feedback so i use the same technique the first word is in relation with the output second word is in relation with the input third and fourth word indicates the type and the first word below the first word i am going to write same the second word i am going to write the different so this is one logic using which we are going to draw the block diagram of negative feedback now let's start with diagram first now in bari beko dabba on the dabba and we call this box as amplifier and we all know that the amplifier contains a pair of terminals at the input and a pair of terminals at the output but this time what they are saying from output we need to tap the current and we all know that the current will remain same in series connection so for that reason at the output we are going to write current i mean series connection because in series connection the current will remain same and this output current is given to the feedback network and this feedback network will extract some part and this part should be connected to the input in shunt shunt andre parallel idu onchur part na kittatte athwa extract madutte adanna naavu enappa martivi andre vapas it will be sent to the input aitha so in parallel combination what is different in parallel combination current is different so for that reason illi 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 we need to write current so this is a source current is this is ii and this is if okay then what will be the effective current it is it just is no it is is minus if now the question is why minus because it is negative feedback okay then what is the gain of this amplifier it is output current io by ii no unit and what is the gain of the feedback network it is if by io that is if by ii io is the output i i sorry io is the input and if is the output hence its a gain is if by io so this is how we need to write the block diagram of current shunt negative feedback now let us analyze this look at the output side at the output side you can find series connection so wherever there is a series connection at that side the resistance increases so output impedance increases not good for amplifier look at the input side there is a parallel connection so wherever you find parallel connection that side the resistance decreases that is input impedance decreases so ee tara type of feedback anna amplifier ge modlu use maadbardu the reason is for a good amplifier input impedance should be high and output impedance should be low if i use this type of feedback in amplifiers it decreases the output impedance and increases the uh, so it decreases the input impedance and increases the output impedance which is not good for an amplifier okay <coughs> next so let us conclude we learned four types of negative feedback out of four types which type of negative feedback is suitable for amplifiers so which type of negative feedback is suitable for amplifiers let us summarize certain things now look at this this table gives you so we there are four types of uh, negative feedback that is voltage series current series current shunt voltage shunt you use any type of negative feedback it decreases the gain and you use any type of this uh, feedback in amplifiers it increases the bandwidth but when it comes to resistance that is input and output resistance voltage series negative feedback increases the input impedance decreases the output impedance this is very important for an amplifier if i use current uh, series negative feedback it increases uh, 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 increases both input and output impedance and if i use current shunt negative feedback it decreases the input impedance and increases the output impedance and if i use the voltage shunt negative feedback it decreases both uh, input and output resistance so out of this 
i may uh, now i am going to come to i mean let me conclude or let me come to a conclusion that ena paandre voltage series negative feedback is preferable for amplifiers voltage series negative feedback is preferable for amplifiers okay children so um, in today's session we learned something about uh negative feedback we learned what is negative feedback and we learned something about types of negative feedback so in the next session we learn in the next video we learn and we prove why use of negative feedback decreases the gain why use of negative feedback in amplifiers increases its amplitude and why use of voltage series negative feedback increases the input impedance and decreases the output impedance okay thank you